Hey y'all, welcome back to the Hebert House. Today I have our seven week pregnancy update. Um, I would love to welcome you if you are new to our channel. If you are, we are in the seventh week of our pregnancy with our rainbow baby after losing um, our baby at 22 weeks earlier this year. But our channel is not just about that. It is about cleaning, organizing, family life, homeschool, um, and a little bit of everything. So we're so glad you're here. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell if you'd like to be notified when we have more videos. Um, but like I said, this is our seven week update. I will link all the rest of our weeks from four, five, and six down below. Um, so the biggest, and I will apologize for this look. <sighs> it's been a hard week again. Um, I'm gonna try my hardest not to be emotional because I'm exhausted. Like, I'm just mentally and physically exhausted. Um, the spotting is continuing. We are still having spotting. Um, and I will precursor these videos like I usually do. This is a TMI video. So if it's any of the dude's friends or anyone who may not want to hear about um, pregnancy information, then you might want to click off. But we are still having spotting. Some brown, some bright red. Um, and the bright red is just scary. I mean, it's scary. And, um, it's just hard. Um, I don't even know, like, I don't even feel like I really have the right words to say. I had a friend tell me the other day that I was one of the strongest women she knows because of how I handled the loss of Everett. But right now, I just don't feel strong, y'all. And, you know that I always keep it raw. You know I always keep it real with these updates. But this is it's just getting hard. Um, so I will tell you what we do know about the spotting. After this morning, the, today I am at seven weeks and two days. Um, and I'm doing this video a little earlier than I normally do because I won't be able to do it later in the week. But um, this morning we had some bright red bleeding, not spotting. And so I finally was able to see my daughter who just got back in from town. She wanted me to have another ultrasound to check on the baby and to talk to her. Um, up until this point, we had been seeing the PA for the um, like group of doctors that I see. And she's been great, but I really want to see my daughter. This has been my daughter since I was 16 years old. She knows me, she knows my situation, and I was just really ready to see her. Um, I was supposed to see her next week, but when the bright red bleeding started this morning, she wanted me to go ahead and come on in. So, first things first, I was scared because I was hurting a lot in my back again, and I was bleeding heavy again after not have had any spotting for almost two days. And so, I was nervous going into the ultrasound, but the baby was good. I'll show you our new picture. Get back in, Mark. So here is little peanut right here and um, the heart rate is now up to 148 so it went from 99 to 122 to 148 now in the seventh week um, which is great so it's definitely going up and she said that was a great heart rate and it is measuring exactly to the day of what I'm supposed to be so all really good news about the baby um, even though I was really scared going into that ultrasound. Um, and I finally went with the doctor. So this is what we do know about the spotting. They have, she has, because she is my daughter, officially diagnosed me with a, a case of being a vanishing twin mom. Um, meaning that there were two, twi there were twi two twins in there. One vanished, is not developing. Um, but where I would normally dissolve the other sac or pass it. I'm taking progesterone to help the pregnancy stick. And because of the progesterone, the other sac is not going away as quickly as they would think. So I still have to take progesterone for three more weeks to my 10th week. So she said that the spotting is probably going to be around until then. Um, which one makes me feel a little better because like I finally have like an end date or think about an end date. Um, and also I have a definitive answer because before it was just like, well, we think it's this or we think it's that. And she said, this is what it is. So that made me feel a little better, um, about that. And so I guess it's just here to stay. And 
If you're a mom that's had spotting throughout like her entire first trimester, maybe you can give me some coping. Cause I mean, I, I feel okay um, about like the stress and the anxiety. I don't feel a lot of stress. I don't feel a lot of anxiety. I just feel exhausted, like mentally exhausted, just because of the ups and the downs. You're not spotting, you think it's about to go away, and then you are, and it just, it's just a lot. Like, it just takes a lot out of you. Um, and so, if you have any, you know, suggestions or anything that you may think may help me, other than, you know, going to God in prayer, because I do that constantly, um, or, you know, some of the things I've mentioned here, I would love to hear it. So, um, that is the deal with the spotting. There are also no clots, which is what she was also looking for again today because we did have the clot that made me go into labor with Everett and that's why I'm on baby aspirin. So she said that was another thing she was looking for today. So no clots, baby's good. Hi, my uterus, um, looks strong and everything else. So she's doesn't seem concerned about that. She is concerned about the bright red spotting that I was having but she thinks it's just from the progesterone and the other sack and the vanishing twin and a little combination of all the crazy. So that is what that, and she actually told me something I didn't know that 15 to 20% of pregnancy start at a, a vanishing twin pregnancy. A lot of women don't know that they've had a vanishing twin because by the time they go in at eight or nine weeks to get their first ultrasound, it's not there anymore. Um, the reason why I obviously saw mine was because I went in so early. But yeah, 15 to 20%, which I did not know. So that was crazy. I'm looking at my notes down here. Um, I am off of bed rest unless the bleeding gets heavy again, which is really good because I felt like that was kind of leading to my craziness. Um, being on bed rest for three weeks is hard. Um, and so I'm glad to be able to get up and kind of start getting back into life, which means hopefully a cleaning video next week because my house is a mess, y'all. So I want to take it easy, but hopefully a cleaning video next week. Um, next thing is that she did go ahead and refer me over to the high risk doctor. I knew that she would. I was at the high risk doctor with Everett as well because I have a heart shaped uterus. So she is going to send me over there a couple weeks early just to get an all over scan, make sure everything looks good. And then as long as everything looks good at 13 weeks, we will go ahead and get the stitch in my cervix um, at the high risk doctor as well. So that's pretty much all of that. Um, I'm hoping this video is a little shorter than the other ones. Next week, at uh, eight weeks, I'll give you an update, but also I'm gonna show you all the apps that I'm using to track the pregnancy. Um, I'm excited to show you those. I've really done my research and I found the ones that I really like the best. So make sure you check back next week for that. All right, so symptoms, seven week symptoms. Finally feeling some symptoms. And I know you're probably like, girl, you're crazy but I was just to the point where I'm like, God, please, I want to feel pregnant, please. Like, just let me feel pregnant. So, um, I do, yay. Um, I've been very, very, very nauseous all day, which is great. I'm like, I'll throw up as much as you want me to, as long as it means the baby's okay. So, <laughs> I have been having that. Um, also, I do have tenderness, and I, there, you know, is some growth in the frontal region, so that's good. Um, I am going to the restroom like every 15 seconds, it feels like. Um, so that's good. But, oh, and the other one is y'all, I'm so mean. Kevin is so good to me. <laughs> like he is literally Prince Charming wrapped up in like a pretty little bow. And I have just been so mean lately. And it's not that I mean to, um, but I'm just so short tempered and I just feel like I get so irritated. So y'all pray for him because... I feel bad, um, but that's it. That is our seven week update. It is short and sweet this week. Not a whole lot of new stuff to report. Um, just still hanging in there, um, trying to stay positive. You know, I've given it to God and I know that he has a plan. So uh, if you'll just continue to pray for our little family, pray for this little peanut, and um, we'll be back next week with the update. So we'll see you guys then. I hope y'all have a great day. God bless.